Hi everyone! Welcome to another barista video. In today's video, I'm going to show you the different espresso machine parts. I'm also going to explain to you the function of each part. So what are we waiting for? Let's now proceed to our coffee machine. The boiler pressure gauge on most espresso machines measures the pressure of the water tank as well as the pressure that is forced through the espresso. The pressure for brewing should be between 9 and 10 atmospheres. The steam wand knob is the main switch of the steam wand. Twist it to the left, it turns on. Twist it to the right, and it turns off. The hot water knob is what you use to turn on the hot water spout. Like the steam wand knob, you turn it on by twisting it to the left and turn it off by twisting it back to the right. The main purpose of the hot water spout or the hot water spigot is to make Americano beverages, preheat ceramic cups, and to make teas as well. Frequent use of the machine to make teas, however, will quickly deplete the capacity of the water softener cartridge and it will have to be changed in shorter intervals. The delivery switch is a button that sends water through the machine into the porta filter. They are programmable to cater to individual tastes. The icon typically go like this, single shot, single long, double shot, double long. There is also usually a free pour button and sometimes a hot water button for the hot water spigot. A group head is the receiver of the removable porta filter or group handle. A typical consumer espresso machine normally has only one group head, while popular professional machines such as those used at commercial coffee shops can contain anywhere from one to seven. A porta filter is a component of an espresso machine. It's the spoon-like device that holds the ground coffee. You attach the porta filter to the group head of the espresso machine, where the hot water comes into contact with the ground beans and extracts espresso. The cup warmer is commonly located on top of the espresso machine. Its main purpose is to heat and sanitize your cups, making them ready for service. Warning. Make sure you don't place wet cups in your cup warmer so that the coffee machine won't be damaged. The manual switch is also called the free pour switch. Once turned on, water flows from the group head and down to the porta filter. To turn it off, you need to switch it manually. The steam wand is used to heat and froth milk for use in various espresso drinks. When the user puts the valve in the steam position, Steam from the heating vessel is released out of the wand and into the milk. At the bottom of a commercial espresso machine, below the groups and steam wands and hot water dispenser is the drip tray, which will have a grating over it. The drip tray is there to catch all of the fluids that do not make it into the cups, spilled espresso and coffee, hot water, etc. The espresso machine on and off switch or the power switch is a switch used to turn the espresso machine on and off. Quite obvious. So those are the parts of the espresso machine and its functions. I hope you all learned a lot today. See you all on the next video. Stay safe and enjoy the vibe.